Modern day golf swing is all about utilising the most powerful piece of equipment you have and that's you, that's your torso, it's your body. And in order to do that we kind of want good balance, good solid rotations, fairly centred, nice weight shift using your hips first, upper body follow, so you know you're creating energy from the floor up to the shoulders. Quite often though, what I think is missed at times is the fact that the arms are playing a role also. As a right hander, if I swing back and my arm has to fold and it has to swing away from my body, there's lots of energy and power stored in there and I want that to go. I want to be able to utilise that with the torso. So a simple drill would be to set up roughly five iron distance from the ball, good athletic posture. Uh, take the left hand away from the equation, right hand, ball in the fingers. If you're, if you're lefty playing right, that's actually a bit more difficult, but let's assume you're not, and most of us aren't in that sense. Normal backswing, normal rotation, you can still feel the lower half leading out first, but the trick is to throw this, to get used to throwing, releasing the energy from the ball at the one that's on the floor, roughly where the ball is. So back, through. Missed it early, but it was on the target line, so at least my arm swing in the right direction, maybe released it a bit too soon. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So I get a sense of moving, as powerful as I can at my age, but also throwing with the arm. So one of the biggest power losses is the fact that either I don't use my body, I don't either turn it hard enough, I don't unwind well enough, and I can't rotate quick enough is a power leakage of course. Second one is that I don't use my arm. So a critical thing that I often see, a difficulty with amateurs and actually indeed some pros, is that they'll kind of release this too early, casting from the top if that's what you want to call it. Um, so as I transmit away I'm going to see that. So there's no effort to hit the ball, there's no intention to actually release that arm and ball as, as effective as I can. So if I were to hold on too long, I'd release it past it, which is really uncommon. If I were to just release too early and actually not transfer the weight and not rotate, I'd look that way. So it, that's going to help lose all of your energy, a huge amount of your power in your swing. So if you've taken the time to make a decent turn, make a decent transfer, you've got to unload that at the right time. And by doing that and avoiding that, you're going to keep the power and get better compression on the ball the ball's going to go as far as you want it to go. Common fault um, in terms of trying to generate speed and power is not being able to move or rotate as far as you can or as far as you need to. I suppose roughly speaking we need to get the shoulders to move to about 90 degrees and I'm not using the word turn because actually they can't. They can get to about 45-50 if you're athletic on their own. Now the hips have to rotate to let the rest of it happen. So a drill here sticks with my belt loop, one across my chest I've got a shaft on the inside of my right heel, just touching the heel I think, and I'm using that to, to, to actually denote am I turning correctly. If I can get the top stick on top of the shaft on the floor, I've turned, i moved my shoulders 90 degrees. So I've got lots of energy stored in there. Now as much as this stick has to move at my age to allow me to do it, that's what it is. So try not to, particularly if you're slightly prone to injury or a little bit tight in your lumbar spine, as lots of us are. Um, let this move as far as it needs to go so you can get those shoulders all the way back there. And the good news about this is, as far as I'm concerned, is because my hips are working enough in a relaxed fashion, I can now see if they're starting to downswing. And there that one did. So I've got enough play in my hips to actually lead the downswing out. And that generates power from here up into here and then down into the arms, into the ball. So repetition is the mother of all skills. And if you were to do this drill regularly, to see you're creating enough turn to get the shoulders all the way back, head fairly stable. And I can see that my hips are starting to move first. So the lower stick is moving a little quicker than the upper one. That means I'm moving as effectively as I can. Now, even if you can't move quickly, you can move effectively and that still creates a lot of speed. And the more you do this exercise, the more you'll start to see better and better compression and strength of flight on the shots. So you're going to hit it as far as you need to.